Hey y'all, just jumped on here. Um, well, the title is Keeping It Current with Me. Um, I usually do this on YouTube as like a regular segment. I try to do it weekly, but I haven't really been on it as much due to my Georgia trip and whatnot. But I think I'm gonna start periscoping it because I mean, it is current, it's something to talk about that's happening now. It could be anything in entertainment, news, um. Just something current, just to talk about. Um, I know it's like three stories I do want to discuss, and I am going to upload this to YouTube. Hey, Dwelling in the Ocean. Oh, I'm saying your name wrong. Dwelling the Ocean. <laughs> How you doing? So, yeah, just something current to talk about. Um, I know, like, the major thing that's been going on this week is the whole thing with the kid. Hi. With the kid I met who bought the clock. He he made a clock. Thank you. He um made a clock. Brought it to school. The school had a field day basically. Like the the, the principal came and took him out the classroom. Because they thought it was a hoax bomb. And because his name is Ahmed Muhammad. They think the boy is a terrorist. And he's only 14. Listen people. The real terrorists are not Muslim. Keep that in mind. Okay? You know, do your 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 research on 9-11. The real terrorists are not Muslim. And I come from an Islamic background. And I know for sure the real terrorists are not Muslim. So, for them to embarrass that poor boy like that. Like I, I mean, I like that Obama reached out and... Invited him to the White House. I like how Mark Zuckerberg, um, you know, the creator of Facebook, he reached out and invited him to Facebook headquarters. Like, I just like how everybody is offering him scholarships and opportunities because he made a clock. And all he wanted to do was showcase it. And they basically wanted to humiliate the poor boy. And the sad thing is somebody pointed out something very, very, like, you know, side-eye-ish on Facebook basically stating that they never believed that he had a bomb they believed that they just want to humiliate him because if it really was a bomb they would have took you off the premises they would have investigated it they would have shut down the school it would have been a whole bunch of stuff like you know how they do fire drills in school when there's not an actual fire but it's to prepare you for a fire or shelter drills you know and like and those are like I had those once in school and that's when you know, you stand against the wall in case the windows decide to like, you know, just something crazy happens. So if they really thought that he had a bomb, they would have evacuated the whole school. They would have took it a lot more serious than just interrogating him and arresting him and putting him on news outlets and everything. They just want to humiliate that poor boy. And it's sad because just because he has an Islamic name and he has an Islamic background, they're accusing a 14 year old of being a terrorist why that's stupid to me so i'm like <laughs> you know kudos to him for making a clock being prepared being you know being excited about it and i guess for his love of science i would assume so because he made the clock so you know i stand with ahmed kudos to you ahmed muhammad you know we got your back the people that want to call you a terrorist, they're idiots. Keep that in mind. You're a good kid. So anyway, um, I've been seeing online. I, I really wasn't paying attention to it, but I was tagged in it. And I was seeing videos posted and people making their own comments about Bow Wow and Erica Mena. And about how, um, oh my god... Thank you. I have so many friends that are Muslim in this stuff. Yeah, like, it's it's sad. Like, when 9-11 happened, it was, like, crazy because, like I said, my mom, um, she's Muslim. And, you know, I used to wear my hair covered in high school. So, and I knew a couple, it was a, it was a couple of other girls that was in high school with me. They wore their hair covered. I don't really think people categorized us as terrorists or, you know, but I was hearing like little snide comments like, oh yeah, Muslims are terrorists and just all kinds of things. And I'm like, you know, I, at the time I was like 14 myself. So I didn't really know much about 9-11 and what was going on and what really happened. But you know, 
excuse me, as you get older and you do your research, you come to find out something ain't right about the story. And I've been reading stuff. I've been doing my research as far as 9-11 goes. And I don't believe, I mean, maybe the, the terrorists, the actual terrorists that did it were Muslims. But 9-11 was an inside job. I don't care what nobody says. It was an inside job. Point blank, period. It's, it's, it's too many things. It's, it's too many things that point to it being an inside job. I just just do your research. Look up 9-11 hoax. Look up 9-11 inside job. Look, at, look up all of that and it will tell you it was an inside job. So for people to think that Muslims, all Muslims are terrorists is just stupid and it's ignorant. That's the same as categorizing all black people as being thugs and 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 you know ghetto and everything like it's just it's it's stupid people are always categorizing people for being stuff like you know and i mean we all do it to each other but it's like it's just it's stupid and it just needs to stop like this world is just screwed up terribly <sighs> but anyway let me not get too much into that before i get pissed off <laughs> so yeah back to bow wow and erica Mena. um Basically, Erica Mena admitted that she had a miscarriage that happened. She was four months into her pregnancy, and she lost her baby. So she basically admitted to the miscarriage and everything. And, um, you know, people were showing her love and, you know, sending their condolences. The only person that really wasn't was Bow Wow, and that's her fiancé. And he basically said that, Erica is being attention starved because the miscarriage was not recent. It was five months ago. So this is September. I'm guessing her miscarriage happened in April. You do the math. And, um, you know, he's saying it's not recent. I don't know why she's bringing it up now. Putting your business on social media is lame. It's stupid. And I'm like, okay. You think it's lame and it's stupid to put your business out on social media, but what are you doing? You making videos about your fiance stating that it's lame and it's attention seeking to speak on something that was that didn't that happened something that happened that's not recent, but yet you're doing the same exact thing. You're jumping on Instagram and all this other social media outlets saying that she's lame and it's attention seeking what she's doing. You doing the same exact thing. Pot, meat, kettle. You know? So, my whole thing is... I mean, y'all know I watch Love & Hip Hop. And... I've been saying that Erica Minna is attention star since she came on Love & Hip Hop. Look at how she came on Love & Hip Hop. The girl came on Love & Hip Hop hating Kim Bella for doing the same thing that she was doing. I still, to this day, don't get why she doesn't like Kim Bella. It's just stupid. But... Okay, she feels like, Erica is the type that feels like her following on social media, her fans or whatever, she likes to keep it real with them. So, I mean, maybe she waited five months later because she couldn't deal with it. I mean, y'all, it takes a woman forever to get over a miscarriage, the loss of a child, anything like that. That's not something you just get over, like, you, you wake up the next day like, oh, oh, well, you know, it happened, let me move on. No, it takes months, it takes years, it takes decades, it takes however long a woman needs to, you know, heal to get over that. So, if she felt the need to express herself through social media, then why not? She does everything else on social media. And, I mean, if you feel like she's lame for expressing her feelings towards a miscarriage, you're lame for calling her lame. Because you did the same thing. You're lame for calling her an attention seeker because you did the same thing. You jumped on social media and trash talked her. So, I mean, <laughs> don't be a hypocrite. That's just my point. And I, I just, I don't know. And and now, I don't know how true it is, but now I'm hearing that their engagement is called off. I mean, I really don't know. I haven't seen any stories on it, but somebody did say that the engagement was called off. I don't know how true it is. I mean, I guess we'll see as it goes on. But I'm just like, these two are a hot mess. Like, 
completely like a hot mess. They're like the weirdest couple to me because he's so short. One of the sucky things about periscoping on your phone is when people text you, it cuts off the whole broadcast. Yeah, I got a text message, so my the last one was just stopped completely. But I don't even remember what I was talking about. But yeah, I, I know I was talking about Bauer and Erica Mena, but anyway, yeah. I just feel like it's attention seeking on both parts and maybe they both need to get off of social media and discuss this issue and move on. And that's that. Um, I mean, if you guys have anything you want me to talk about, I'll discuss it. If I don't know much about it, um, you know, just comment below, tell me more details about it and whatnot and I'll talk about it. But, um, I mean, I, it was just like maybe three things I really wanted to talk about in this Periscope. And I just heard that Jackie Collins, the author of like, she made, she made a lot of books. Cause I remember my mother, my mother, my mother likes her. My mother reads her books. She passed away, um, from cancer. And I'm like, wow, that sucks. At 77 years old. And I mean, it's sad. I mean, from, cause I mean, my mom reads, like I said, my mom reads her books. I know she has like a bunch of books she's written. And I mean, she seems to be a good author. I've never read a Jackie Collins book, but seems to be a good author. She got all those books, like, and you know, she's a bestseller. So, but, um, I just, ugh. well, like I said, she was 77. She passed away from cancer. I hate cancer. I friggin' hate cancer. Because I have family members that died from cancer. And it's like... Cancer's a bitch, man. I hate cancer. Like, it's, it takes away all the good people. Like, they, like, you know, people die so young from cancer. And it's just, it's ridiculous. And it's like... There's a cure. There is a cure for cancer. Don't believe the hype. But, you know... We're made, to, we're made to believe that there isn't a cure, but that's neither here nor there. Just rest in peace to her, and I just think, you know, it's, it's, it's sad. I just hate hearing that somebody dies from cancer. I hate cancer with a passion. Hate cancer. Um, But, um, I mean, that's basically really what I wanted to talk about. It wasn't, like I said, um, I, I'll just start periscoping my reviews and my segments it seems to be easier for me because i really do get in my head when i do reviews and i go on youtube whereas i feel more comfortable more natural on periscope i don't know why i don't get what's the difference is it's the same thing to me but i guess it's because i have to because i is i guess it's because i write down notes and then I sit there and I read them. It's like kind of rehearsed. Whereas I can just jump on camera and just be me. You know, but I mean, I can do that. Doing a review, just getting behind the camera. I don't know. It just seems more free-willed and more fun when I do it through Periscope. As opposed to regular, like just doing it through regular, you know, YouTube. So I may do the keeping it current like this. You know, since it's way more simple and it does seem more current. Um, so, I mean, those are the main stories I really want to talk about. I can't really think of anything else. I already gave y'all my opinion on the perfect guy. And I'm going to say it again. In my honest opinion, if you feel like wasting $15, $20 on a whack movie and sitting in the theater for two hours being bored by all means because that movie was so corny to me it was typical it was predictable i was bored so yeah <laughs> that's my opinion on it i have not seen the visit yet um i don't know if i'm gonna see it um yeah i don't know what else to talk about not saying much I see this. it says two people it says two people in the corner and then it says no viewers when I look whatever 
Um, I think that's a glitch on Periscope's part. I don't get it. But yeah, that's all I really want to talk about. Um, if you guys want me to talk about anything else, I'll jump back on here. So I just wanted to jump on Periscope and, you know, speak, finish up my Periscope. So it's a continuation from the last one. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be on here later with my fiance. Um, or tomorrow sometime. I do want to try and Periscope daily because it's fun. It's fun. It's therapeutic. I have fun with Periscope. Shout out to my cousin, Pink Maxwell. Make sure y'all follow her. Pink underscore Maxwell is her handle on here. And she is a self-published author of a book called A Scorpion Sting. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. You can Google it, Amazon it, whatever. It's a really good book. I read it and I plan on reading it again because she rewrote she rewrote it to have like a um an alternate ending. So I want to read the alternate ending. So yeah, so make sure y'all check her out at pink underscore Maxwell. I love you. That's to my cousin, y'all. <laughs> I love y'all too for watching. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably be back on here later. If not, I'll be back on tomorrow for sure. Um, so thank you for watching guys and I'll see you later.